synth in the build of little synths with big sounds I'm calling this one echoplasm it's actually two synths in one so the first side here is uh, a dub siren classic dub siren the second side is an echo and reverb I guess synth or module so you can play both of them this through this and get some really cool sounds we can also play other synths through the echo and reverb section here's the main board so the reverse of all the components that you need and the front side with the switches and the pots and the jacks and everything else it's a really straightforward build there's no wires needed um, there's no case uh, it's really uh, easy to do and um, yeah I've made sure we've just reduced the amount of extra wires and anything else you need to this to build this to zero so let's get building as usual I like to check all the resistors before I put them in uh, just to double check and make sure the, polar uh, the values are right so first up is some 10k if you check them now you don't have to check them later and troubleshoot if there's some issue so that's just a, it's just a smart way of working all right so that's our resistors done it's pretty painless easy enough to do so I've got the 16 leg one in. I just want to show you a trick. So before you go soldering all those legs into place, the best thing to do is just solder two legs into place. I'll show you why. So we'll solder two legs. Now we can check to make sure that it's sitting flat. It's not quite sitting flat, so I can just heat that up again. That's a little bit better now. So, so the rest of the legs in, and that way at least I know the uh, IC sockets sitting flat. Also included an external power source, so you need one of these mini JST connectors, uh, and that way I can power the thing externally. Which is kind of good because I don't have a 9 volt battery on me so I won't be able to test it once I finished it so all the caps are in I put the ICs in everything is in except this voltage regulator right here so moving on to the front side now I'm going to start with these little jack sockets they're quite small I'll get a couple out so yeah that's what we need to connect to and the holes are quite large on this footprint so you can see the jack kind of moves around a bit now you could put some tape across it it's actually not too bad a way of doing it I get quite lazy and just sort of hold it in place while I add the dobber solder to keep it in place so let's do that some crap out the way
like that. Just a tiny bit of solder, just to keep it there. Now we'll just carefully add some solder to those points. Cool. All right, so did I just melt that? Nope. All right, so we'll add that one, which is the out, and then we'll just start to add the rest of the components. Here are the switches that I'm gonna use. You can hear they're a little clicky, but not as bad as this one. So we'll add those in next, and they fit in well, you just gotta kind of snap them into place. So, you see it, just gotta push it in. So, ah. Oh. You know what I've done? Which is fine. I've kind of put them in backwards. <laughs> the alley, this should be around the other way. Oh man. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Oh, that'd be fine. Let's put the top on and see what it looks like. Obviously, they don't go down that far. Oh, no, that's good. Actually, maybe they are supposed to go that way. I'll have to check my other builds out. Maybe I have got them right. Maybe I'm just talking shit. Anyhow, we'll sort all those into place. And we'll start to get the pots and we'll put those switches in last. Alright, so we've got most of the components on now. We've got our momentaries, we've got our little toggle switches, all the pots. Most of these are 50k except for that one to 10k. Right, so before I add the battery holder on the back, I wanted to test it first just to make sure everything's working. So I plugged in the speaker. A little power pack here. Alright, so well, that's not right. There should be a light on here. Ah, okay. So, uh, the echo reverb's working because that's the feedback. So that's fine. I must not have connected this switch up properly because there's no LED on. All right, I'm gonna try and sh troubleshoot this little synth and I'll get back to you. Okay, so after that little mishap with the board not uh, working right, I went and had a look at the schematic for the Echo Plasma Synth and I zoomed in at the switch section and I made the biggest rookie mistake. So here's your momentary switch and you can see that's not connected. So I'll just quickly connect that together. And then can anyone see my second rookie mistake? Yeah, I've connected negative on this LED which is in the switch to positive and I've connected ground to positive as well. So let's just delete those. We'll spin this around. Just connect it together. Move this over. Now it should be perfect. There shouldn't be any issues. I might even just get another board done just to double check it, but um, it shouldn't be any problems now. So. We are good to go. I did a thing. I went out and got some more boards printed. These have just arrived. Uh, although the original one worked for the most part, I wasn't happy with it. I had the switches upside down. One of the, the blast switch didn't work at all. So, I've gone and rectified all that. You can see these are the right way now. I've had a little echoplasm label on it. Uh, and that's about 
it. Oh, this switch, as I mentioned, this blast switch wasn't working, so uh, I've rewired that, and the LED wasn't coming on this switch, so it will come on now. Well, I'm hoping. So I'm going to put this together, and then we'll test it out, and uh, fingers crossed. I don't have to bloody make it again. All right. Oh, man. All right. So this is the second version, and I can confirm the second version works. So switches are up the right way, and the blast switch works. So let's, oh, I still don't have a battery for it. I'll get that tomorrow and uh, put the top on it. But let's plug it in via some external power. Put a speaker. Plug it into the out. Turn that on. So let's turn the echo up a bit. It's got a great echo. How good's that? Oh, a bit of feedback. So I'll just... Alright, so we are done. Got the acrylic base in the bottom, finally got a battery. Everything's working as it should, so let's uh, turn it on. So let's just play around firstly with the dub siren section. So you've got a speed control. You've got a tone. Pitch. Modulation. And you can turn the modulation off. So it's basic dug siren. A couple of 555 timers, uh, 741 op amp, and a few pots, and you can make those great sounds. But when you add the echo and reverb in you start to get some more richer sounds coming out let's turn it right up so it's a pretty long echo if we use some feedback we can start to extend that echo also got a blast switch here and a warp switch so if we Yeah, so that's pretty much it. But what we can also do is turn the dub siren off and then plug in other synths. So we'll just try that now. You can also leave the dub siren on, plug in other synths and play the dub siren over the top of that. So let's go and get one of my other synths. So here's my elements. This is the first little synth in the build. The second one's the Proton. Let's try, we'll try Proton. If you want to build your own, I've included all the Gerber files, or the um, Eagle files, everything you need to do to build your own, get your own circuit board printed, as well as the front panel. 
um, there's a link in this video so just check out the description I've also done an instructable on how to put this together it's a really straightforward build but it's so much fun um, yeah hope you enjoyed it I really should probably pay this over some dub um, I've done it before and it's a lot of fun and I've and uh, the only problem is there's some copyright issues so I can only play for like 10 seconds unless I get royalty free and even then when I've had royalty free I've had YouTube stop videos so I'm not going to but you can go go for it so that's it hope you enjoyed this video um, if you make one let me know and yeah keep on building hope you have fun ciao